Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel and my wife and I are driving a car from the United Kingdom all the way to Turkey and we're currently in Croatia. This has been a super requested video. There's been so many comments over the years saying, go to Croatia, go spearfishing in Croatia. I'm about to go for a dive this afternoon. We drove down here through Slovenia over the last couple days. We've been here about two days so far and the weather has not been very favorable. Right now it's a little bit sunny, but it's been storming and the wind has been blowing so hard on the other side of the island, which is one great thing about being on an island is you can always find a sheltered side. So the plan is to get in here this afternoon. I've had a little bit of help from some people on Instagram. So you know who you are that have given me some spots and some tips and advice to come out here, but it's the Adriatic going to be very challenging as always in the Mediterranean, but I'm hoping once the sun gets a bit lower this time of year, there's not too many people around, not as much boat traffic. Hopefully there's some more fish around like Dentex and maybe even Learfish. Water is looking spectacularly clean. I just hope after the sickness we've had over the past week that I can equalize properly, but I'll give it a go anyway. I only had around two hours of diving time and wanted to get to a headland around a kilometer away. I always opt for a nice long swim as I figure the further you go, the less other people will go there as well. The world record Dentex was rumored to have been shot in this part of Croatia, so I opted to take my big Orca 115 Vela Roller. I've really enjoyed using this gun this year and I love the clean line of sight you get once it's loaded up. The water was easily 20 meters visibility and there were a few damselfish concentrated on this closest corner, but I decided to press out onto the point I wanted to get to in hopes of that Dentex. I swam across the bay instead of hugging the coast as it was the fastest way to cross, but I didn't expect to find this shallow plateau between the two points. I saw some fish milling about on the bottom and had to have a dive. To my surprise, there were a few Dentex mixed in with these two bar sea brim. Now to slowly move my gun in the right direction. I could see my shot was quite low, so I let the Dentex run to the bottom. Often they will hole up and then settle down. I saw that my shaft was toggled on the other side of the fish, so figured it was quite secure. As always, dispatching the fish and then bleeding it to preserve the best eating qualities. It's not a big dead text, but it's a dead text. 700, 800 grams. Nice little fish. The minimum size for Dentex in Croatia is 30 centimeters, which this fish was well over. A perfect meal for Hannah and I. I eventually made it to the point I was trying to get to. However, I was expecting much more solid rock given what the geography was doing on the shoreline. There just wasn't a lot of great looking structure, current or holes. I only saw a few small bream, including these sharp snout sargos. I guess one of the problems in highly populated areas is finding shore diving locations that don't get dived so much. However, despite the lack of large fish, the clean water was lovely to dive in. I've come out to this point I wanted to and I was hoping that it would be a little better than it is. It sort of just slopes down to mud at about 20, 25 meters and it's not really that fishy. So I might go back to those little lumps of reef that I was finding earlier where I shot the Dentex to see if I could find anything more hiding in those two bar sea room. But yeah, I might start making my way back. Not quite what I was expecting out here.
I could see a few fish from the surface in about 15 meters, close to where I shot the Dentex. There wasn't a great deal of cover on the bottom, and the rocks that were available, I didn't really utilize properly. It was looking really fishy with these clouds of damselfish and off in the distance a shoal of two-bar sea bream, or as they are known here in Croatia, fratar. It felt like at any moment a dentex was going to come cruising through. I decided to have another dive a little deeper to around 18 meters, where there were more stones that I could use for cover. With no sign of any predators, I headed in before the sun got too low. Nice way to start the account in Croatia. With the Dentex. And bloody wasps everywhere in this Mediterranean. Not a real big Dentex, but that's gonna be a really nice meal for both of us. Didn't really see any bigger ones, but overall, Really happy with the start. Salad never makes it onto the YouTube. We have some Dalmatian tomato. I've never seen a tomato that looks like this. They taste absolutely delicious, and yeah, I believe they're they're local. So quite a privilege. Look at that. Look at that color. If it grows together, it goes together. Mm. Less than three hours from being in the sea to our kitchen, this little Dentex is our dinner. This is a 700 gram fish. All I've done is gutted it and scaled it because we have a very limited kitchen as you can see. But I'm going to keep it simple. Olive oil, a large Mediterranean, which is just mixed Mediterranean herbs that we got from France. So that's probably gonna go on that. A little bit of sea salt because that always tastes good with fish and some olive oil into the pan and just cook it both sides, as simple as that. It doesn't quite fit into the fry pan, but we'll make it work one way or another. And if you're laying fish into a pan, lay it away from you so that the oil doesn't splash and you. I prefer to cook a fish like this in an oven or over a grill, but our only heat source in the Airbnb was this frying pan. This Dentex is a little bit too big for the pan, so I'm going to have to slice it off here so it cooks evenly, but I'll cook the tail on the side. I believe in the industry they call that deconstructed Dentex. One thing that can be tricky with fish is knowing when to flip it and how cooked it is. A good indicator that I like to see is looking under this petrol fin here, you can start to see that it's all gone white, opaque, the flesh. It's a bit, it's almost cooked. And when you flip this, it'll continue to cook through because the heat is retained inside the meat. So I would say that's just about ready to cook there. You can see the bottom side there is just starting to turn, getting to that cooked protein state. We'll flip this over and check the other side. Ooh. That is looking pretty dang good. You can see here, down at the back, it's cooked very, very nicely there, almost to the bone. So that'll continue to cook through with the residual heat and we get that other side cranking. I always like to try the local beer and wine wherever I go. For me, this is what it's all about, going out into the sea, catching something for the family. Hannah's made this beautiful salad, but I have to try this Dentex first. 
and up here on his shoulder there are some beautiful charred bits and very juicy flakes of white meat. It is so fresh. Epic tasting, juicy, the crunch on the outside. This for me is what it's all about. Bon appetit. It's the return of the fish, Chippy. Oh. It's like the pork crackling on the pork. It's like my favorite part. I frequently get asked, are Dentex any good to eat? Well, for me, they are the ultimate Mediterranean fish. They look good, they're a challenge to hunt, and yes, they are fantastic on the plate. And hopefully this isn't the last Dentex for us because as I mentioned earlier, we're traveling all the way from London to Turkey on the other side of Europe. So hopefully lots of diving, lots more Dentex and many other species along the way. If you'd like to watch those videos, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when we post future videos. We'll see you on the next adventure. There are some big ugly spiders in this country. I left Australia to get away from stuff like this. Ugh.